So, with the previous section, we exhausted all the additional information for the beginner courses, and now we are going to move to new subjects. We are going to start with phase. Phase can be a bit tricky. It can define a very specific point in a period of a sound wave, and it's measured using an angle in degrees. The human ear normally cannot hear the phase of a single wave. However, if there are two or more waves, things can get pretty confusing. In general, when two or more things perform an action together in a relative time, then we can say that they are in phase. In our case, it's when the sound waves force the particles to move in a specific direction for the same distance in relative time. Phase reinforcement is when identical sound waves reach the same place at the same time. Since they are identical, their compressions and rarefactions will match themselves. Therefore, they will convert themselves into a new sound wave, and the pressure forced into the particles will be the sound of the previous two sound waves. That's also called constructive interference. Phase cancellation, on the other hand, is quite the opposite, and it might be actually one of the most common issues you will come across in sound engineering. If, in the case we investigated earlier, one of the two sound waves arrives late by, let's say, half a period, then its compressions will match the rare factions of the other sound wave, and that will have as a result the particle to be pressured by both sides by the same amount of pressure. And since we're talking about pressure, if you apply the same amount of pressure to an object from both sides, then the object will stay still. In our case, the air particles. So, to recap, two sound waves, two sides, same amount of pressure, particles stay still, no vibration, no sound. This is also known as destructive interference. So, let's say we have two guitarists and they play the same note at the same time. Obviously, that's humanly impossible, but let's suppose it happens. Now, let's suppose that one of the two guitarists is not that well tuned. That will create different compressions and refractions between the waves as they extend, and due to irregular reinforcements and cancellations, the pulse will be created. By saying the pulse, you will be able to hear the sound coming and going. And in fact, depending on which frequencies are involved, it will affect the rate of the pulse. However, partial cancellation is actually used in music and has a very, very common use. Can you imagine which that is? So yes, if you guessed it, you were correct, it's the chorus effect and it's mainly used by guitarists on their pedals. So how does chorus work? It's very very simple. So a chorus pedal will actually take the original signal, let's say a chord that's played by a guitarist, and it will duplicate it. Then it will change the phase of the duplicated signal. Then, lastly, it will sum them up together and deliver them to the output. That way you have that weird, phasey, pulsy effect you can listen to many many of those incredible recordings out there. So as we mentioned earlier, there are three states of phase. Reinforcement, where the waves are 100% in phase between them. Cancellation, where one of the two sound waves is delayed by half a period. And partial cancellation, which is actually any different state than the previous two mentioned. Phase is measured in degrees and starts from zero, and it's expressed by the Greek letter theta or T. Also, the phase of a sound wave is sound relative. As the sound wave travels, its phase is constantly changing. So when we hear different sounds and they reach our ears at various times, all these sound waves have different phases. The phase of a sound is what our brain uses to actually understand where the sound source of its sound is. Close to earth, oh.